we're going to talk about planting a garden or even just a couple pots today. So um, my name is Mrs. Nelson. Uh, we have some dirt, some pots, some uh, seeds. So we'll go through what we need and how to do that. So first of all, um, you should have a sunny spot. Southern facing windows or areas are the best for growing plants because they get the most sun uh, in a day. But if you have some good spots, uh, good windows that face south, those are the best ones to put your plants in. Um, you should have some soil. Um, a lot of planting mixes you get, you can see stuff in them that's not necessarily dirt, that's organic material. So they call that humus and that also helps with growing the plants. So that's an important thing. Water, obviously, you have to water your plants, otherwise they don't do much. Um, and a lot of gardeners recommend some sort of mulch. So if you are planting outside, um, it's good to have something on the ground to cover the ground. It does two things. Helps conserve water so that you don't have to water as much. And it also helps uh, keep weeds down. Um, if you plant a garden, lots of space in the ground, um, weeds like to come grow there too. So uh, if you're doing a container garden, that's a little less important, but if you're planting outside uh, in the dirt, that would be uh, something to consider. Um, and then some fertilizer of some sort. So there's lots of different kinds and some people just use compost from all their plant things that they've eaten, not eaten, like the peels and cores and um, grass clippings and all of that, or you can buy some different types of fertilizer to help your plants grow. Um, then, uh, when we are thinking about what we want to grow, if you want to grow something inside, you need to consider what would grow well and what kind of container you want to use. So, I mean, you could grow anything in a cup, a little pot, a big pot out in the yard, um, but that is going to have to be a consideration when you think about what you want to grow. So for example, this little pot would be a really bad choice to grow a pumpkin. Pumpkins would need like the space of this whole table. So that would be a bad, bad thing. It's better to grow something like a pumpkin in the yard where it can spread out. But something like, here's some cat frost uh, that cats like to nibble on. Uh, that can grow nicely in a little pot like that. Or if you like to grow herbs, this is some basil, you can grow that in a little pot. Um, so consider your space and how much space you have. Um, and again, pots or if you have a spot in the yard, all of those would be great things. A lot of information about planting what you want is in this on the internet, in a book, um, on the seeds themselves. So today I'm gonna grow, plant some peas. So this tells me it needs six or more hours of sunshine. It takes about 65 days until it's ready to eat. I plant it at one depth, and then once it gets to about six inches tall, I need to thin it a little bit and make sure there's about that much space between each of them. So it says extremely prolific, early and drought resistant, produces pods three and a half inches long, filled with seven to 10 sweet tender peas, and it creates about 30 inch vines. So all of that information is helpful. Um, I will know that that would probably not be a great thing for a small pot. That's why I'm gonna use it in a big pot. Um, I'll probably throw another few things in there. I'll show you why in a second. And then um, it also tells you when and where to plant this particular thing. Um, Make sure um, you have the info you need so that you can plant it right and grow it well. If you don't have a seed packet, but you have an avocado seed you wanna grow, there's tons of information online and it will walk you all the way through that. Um, also think about what you'll eat. So if you don't like peas, I wouldn't plant peas. So I know at my house we eat them a lot, so that will be a good choice for us. Um, the other thing to consider is what kind of requirements. So a lot of peas, when they grow, have tendrils and they kind of, you need to like attach them to a fence or they just fall down. So they like to grow on things. So I'm growing these in a 
hanging top. So I'm gonna make it so that they will, if they need to climb up something, they can climb up this chain. Or um, when you have a hanging pot like this, sometimes they do okay growing, hanging off the edge. They're not hanging in the ground and they will still produce nice, like, nice uh, pea pots. Um, so those are the other kinds of things to consider. Most of the things you plant are gonna be pretty easy. If you plant car carrots, those are really straightforward. You plant it, grows up, and then you pull it to uh, pick it and eat it. Um, so we have lots of different options. And the other thing to consider is we are in Indiana. The rule of thumb, the wives' tale that you follow is don't plant outside before Mother's Day. And that's a good rule of thumb because it usually can freeze up till Mother's Day um, and usually doesn't after so it's a little safer to plant later you don't want your little plant to get going and then die because it froze um, but even if you don't want to wait to start planting until the middle of May um, a lot of plants can be started inside and you've seen these probably at a store with little things growing you can do that yourself at home you can buy these things or just use any little cup you like um, and then replant it outside once it's been established and once the freeze uh, risk is over. Um, if you don't have great sunshine or great light, um, a lot of plants, there are plants that don't need as much sunlight and they will tell you. Um, like I said on this one, it said it needs at least six or more hours of sunlight. If I have a north facing window, that's not gonna be very good. Um, there are grow lights that are available and you can just put them in a regular light socket and they'll help your plants grow. Um, also know about some plants have the ability to like take over a yard. So some examples are some people have thought, oh, bamboo is awesome. I'm gonna plant some of that in my yard. It takes over, it's very um, prolific. So it will um, spread, 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 take over your neighbor's yard. You don't want to do that. Things like mint are also similar that way. Um, raspberries, I know when I was little, um, our neighbors had a raspberry patch in the back of their yard. Well, it wasn't long and we had a raspberry patch in the back of our yard because it just grew through under the fence and we didn't mind at all. We ate lots of raspberries. So um, just be aware of how things grow and if they will just take over a space. Um, you don't necessarily want that. Um, those would be plants you'd want to do in a container or a raised bed where they can't keep going. Um, the other thing to consider is some plants have a longer growing cycle. There are plants called biennial plants. Um, asparagus would be an example of that. If you grow it the first year, it just is like this frilly frondy thing and it, you're like, that's asparagus. And then you have to let it grow another year and it will come back as the spikes we know and you just cut them off and, and you can cook and eat those. So be aware that do a little bit of research on what you want to grow and what food you will eat and that would be um, for your best interest and to have the best results. So I'm going to plant in this pot. I'm going to put a few things. So obviously I'm going to start with the dirt. break up the clumps. Um, when you're growing seeds, you don't want a lot of air in the soil, but you don't want it compacted either. So um, make sure it's nice and broke up. And that it will spread out really nicely. Um, and I might put a little more in here. Yep. Bring it a little closer to the top, especially since I'm going to kind of put several things in here and I want them to have plenty of dirt, plenty of room to grow. Yeah. And once I water it as well, it's going to kind of uh, condense and sink down a bit and settle out. So I'm gonna make sure I have plenty of dirt in here. Oh, 
Okay. So again, just stir it all like you need it to get things rolling. So I'm gonna plant two things. So I'm going to plant onions in the middle, just a couple. They're a root plant, so they'll need most of the space going down. Um, they'll grow their little stalks coming up, um, and that shouldn't get in the way of the peas. I'm gonna plant the peas kind of on the outer part and make sure they're near where a chain is if they need to climb the chain. So that is where we'll start. We get um, onions. When you buy them to plant, they come like this. And sometimes some of the groceries you buy um, would be okay to grow. Uh, there's lots of, like a head of lettuce, you can chop it off and it'll reroot and, and grow some more. So I'm just gonna stick um, three little onions in here. And kind of, they're not gonna be huge. And you can pull onions, you can let them grow um, longer and they'll just get bigger and that's that's all good. Let me do one more. Kind of in between where I'm gonna plant the, so give them a little place to be. And then I will plant my peas. And most of our vegetables that we eat, we call them vegetables, but they're technically fruits. So the, it's the actual pea from the plant dried out that is the seed. So I'm gonna plant a couple kind of close because it's always safer if you get too many plants, you can always take them out. Um, but not everything will germinate, and that means to start growing. Um, so that'll go there. So I'll put a couple by each of where the chain places so that they'll have a place to attach to. Okay, so some onions and peas in one big pot and we should have a nice harvest. Got it watered. Forgot my daughter's watering can. Hello kitty, isn't that nice? So give it a good water, especially when you're just starting a plant. They need, that dirt needs to stay moist. Um, as it starts to establish itself, you may not need to water it quite as much and you may not want to because it might actually rot the roots. Um, just again, kind of be aware of what your plant needs, but it needs to, like this was a big old amount of soil, so I want it'll, the moisture will sink, sink, sink. Um, and then we want that to make sure to keep the plants moist. So I'm gonna put this outside um, to hang and grow, but I don't need to keep track of it. Make sure it's staying moist, otherwise I won't get anything and no germination. So I hope you'll try some gardening and pick out some things you would like to eat uh, to grow at your house. And thanks for watching. Bye.